Hi folks, this is John K. How are you doing? Just wanted to give you a little update on how my monopole rotated Bedini coal circuit. Bedini coal circuit is running. I only just got this running, so uh, still got a lot of work to do. You can see the bike wheel there. It's got 16 super pole north magnets on it, which were already on the rotor, so just kind of threw this together just to see if I could get it running and uh, finally did after a bit of trouble so all I've got here I'll give you a quick rundown of what I've got that's just a, a bifolder coil that was uh, hanging around so one trigger wire one power wire it's going to the Bedini coal circuit you can see down there the uh, NPN MJL on the top uh, sorry, the PMP on the top, the NPM down the bottom. Some resistors. And the trigger resistor there is a uh, MJE3055. Another 10 ohm resistor. So just running off the trigger coil. In this version, I've still got a lot of work to do to uh, get some hall switching happening and uh, obviously mount this vertical. Kind of ran out of room in the shed. It's only running at 12 volts at the moment and it's it's drawing about 200 milliamps 12 volts the road is probably only doing about 60 rpm so it's running pretty slow and at this stage uh, I've got the capacitor hooked up to the bridge rectifier down there but um, not pulsing the cap yet I just wanted to get this running and then uh, the caps really just in parallel with that uh, lab rat battery down there. It's currently sitting on 1312. It's not really charging much. It's just kind of sitting there but that's not the point of, of getting it going. It was just to actually get it running. So uh, you can see it there. I'll just uh, give you a quick look at the rotor. <coughs> just switch it off just to give you an idea. As I said this is uh, just something I already had running. So 16 poles you see each magnet is a pair of norths pushed together and uh, stuck to the rotor with lots of super glue and some strapping tape just to keep the magnets on there and uh, yeah that's about it you see as soon as I switch it off the charge batteries you know, drop down a little bit and uh, you know it's no way indicating how well it charges or anything like that so I'm going to hook it up again, just to show you what it does. I'll give the wheel a little, little flick, and away it goes. So there we go. So that's uh, first base done already. At least it's running. Uh, I'll probably swap that coil out for something, mount it vertically. The next steps are to put the the, the shielding on it. So. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a slow build, so bear with me. But, uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.